Okay, so, Friday, April 2nd, about half seven in the morning, we are setting off for Barmouth. We're going to try and do the Madoff Way, Madoff Way. Uh, my first ever, I've got my full pack here, my first ever actual hiking and camping, wild camping trip, wherever. It was the first time camping in years, actually. So, it's about a 30 mile round trip, 50 kilometers or so. We're going to try and do it in three days and not die. That's the plan. So, we're just heading off to the train station now. And uh, it is very nice weather. So, well, it's chilly, but it's, uh, it's bright. So, we shall see how it goes. We've got about 14, 15 kilometers to do today. Most of that, or at least the first section, is very uphill. So, that's going to be interesting. I think this pack weighs about 40 pounds. I've overpacked, I'm pretty sure, but it's my first time doing this, so I think I just packed everything just in case. We shall see. So anyway, that's uh, that's the jam. Let's see how it goes. Book. This is what's going to stop me from getting lost, hopefully, and uh, show me where to find water and where where to go, where not to go. The Malik Way, it's, uh, which is this. So there's Barmouth, and the first day we're going to do all of this route till we get to about here, find a place to camp somewhere, and then the next day all around here till we get around here somewhere, I can't remember, and then back up to Barmouth again. So the first day, here is the <laughs> the elevation profile. So as you can see, we start and then we go up and up and up and up. So uh, that's going to be the fun bit. So 15.4 kilometers to do today. Should be alright, we've got till seven or eight o'clock the sun starts going down so plenty of time hopefully take it nice and slow and um, don't die again that is the goal here there we go So, we are here, in the town of Barmouth. And there is, and if you can see, I'll be going up there. Hooray. Lovely weather for it. So, we are looking for St. David's Church. Then we're going to take a left and go off up into the hills. So, once we find that, get the hiking poles ready and... Uh, <laughs> prepare. <laughs> now here we have the first view thus far. A lot of steps, now little windy steps, but it's gonna be really nice when we get to the top. Oh, okay. Sorry, insect landed on me. I think that is most of the uphill work done. Uh, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't amazing. Hey, bud. Sheep's been staring at me sideways for the last minute or two. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm pretty sure I know where I am on the trail. 
I think it's most of the hard elevation done. It doesn't look like there's much more up there to, cl to clamber up, hopefully. So yeah, it's going good. We're about three and a half kilometers in. It took me an hour, but that's because it was all uphill. So hopefully we can crunch some kilometers through now. We're all good, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have found a very nice view. Ooh, look at that. This is about five kilometers in, or well, thereabouts. Much easier going. Still some uphill, but Ooh, nice. still here with a lovely view. Which we've uh, found this big old stone uh, building. I guess it's be a farmhouse or. I don't know. It's, uh, I think it's one of the things mentioned in my guidebook. The size of that stone there. Must have taken some putting up. Anywho, back on the trail. Be stopping for lunch soon, because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so it's in the afternoon now. I've had the first lunch on the trail, uh, which I'm fine. Had to shield the. Uh, the camping stove from the wind, but all was well. We've done just under 13 kilometers, so there's not many to go really. Uh, rather nice landscape again. There's the lake that you saw earlier, don't know if we can see that there. And uh, there's a village a couple of kilometers away. Um, I believe there's an inn there, so I might ask and see if they'll let me just camp in their grounds. I might be able to fill up on water, charge my phone something like that and if not then I'll, I'll probably carry on past for a little bit and set up my tent somewhere i think i'll have enough time for that since it's yeah just getting on for three we've got another three hours of daylight at least so we'll see okay so we find ourselves in the rspb nature reserve with a bench most gratefully used um it's not what it looked like from the pictures when i googled it but uh Maybe it was more wintry. It looked like it was a big, thick, big, thick woods covered in moss and lichen, but well, maybe it's like that further down. Anyway, not far from the village now, about a kilometer, two kilometers. And it's just gone three o'clock, so we're making good time. Okay, so that is the end of the first day. It was longer than I had planned, and I am knackered. It was. I don't think it was quite 20 miles of the trail because I put my pack down to go and explore some spots for camping and trying to find signal. I had to walk for longer because I found a good camping spot but there was no phone signal whatsoever so couldn't have let anyone know if something was wrong so we had to go a bit further but here we are. As uh, you see there's the tent. It's just barely set up. Should be good to go so I'm gonna have a lie down and then eat something. And that will be the end of the first day. So, good miles though, we're ahead now. So I'm hoping to knock a few extra miles off tomorrow so that the last day, which is the longest and the hardest, um, I won't have to rush to catch my train. So, we shall see. Ta-ra. Okay, so, morning of day two. We've got our uh, water on the boil here for a cup of coffee. And then we're going to head off. The sun's just coming up. It's about 8 o'clock, I think. Yeah, almost 8 o'clock. It's not as chilly as I thought it would be. The uh, sleeping bag held up pretty well last night. It was pretty warm. I was uh, surprised. Face was a bit chilly, but besides that, the airbed, same cannot be said. It was, um, I've had pleasanter sleeps in my life. I was tired enough that I dropped off to sleep, but I would uh, wake up every hour because my back was sore. Um, I think the air must have gone out of it slowly as the night went on because then it just got harder and harder to get off to sleep. So I'm not looking forward greatly to tonight's sleep, but hey-ho. That's the way it be. Uh, that will be getting replaced, hopefully, before I try and do this again. So yeah, there we go. I'll just wait for this, this to boil and we shall be off. Oh, stop me taking a break after a lot of uphill for quite a long way. That's a very nice view. 
I assume that's Barmouth down there. Maybe. I don't know, I'm terrible with navigation, but I've come a long way. And much further to go today. We'll be back there eventually. Tomorrow. All right, break's over. And we're back in the woods again. Quite pretty woods. Also the path of the stream. So we won't lack for water. We might get eaten by bears. Who can say? If there's no next entry, you know what happened. Uh, whoever finds my pack can have it. All right, see ya. Okay, so we're about six, seven kilometers in today. It's about 10 o'clock. We are down by the river. We've just gone down a lot of downhill, which when walking normally has always been my favorite bit because it's easy. But I've realized, because I've listened to a lot of hiking books recently and they always Let's seem to- Let's go. Stop talking to me, Kamut. Um, so it's the app that I'm using just to make sure I'm on the right path. Uh, they always say that going downhill is the worst and I realize it's because of the pack. Going uphill, you can use your hiking poles to, you know, dig in and push yourself, but you can only do so much to slow yourself. It really starts to hammer your knees. Hey ho! And you know what that means? We've done a load of downhill. It means we're probably going to do a lot of uphill later on. But such is the way. We made all, well a real good speed down the hill, so it'll make up for going slow up. There we go. Hopefully, get to Dolgathli soon-ish. We get a coffee and eat a pasty, maybe buy a pasty for dinner. There's space in my pack, save eating one of the camp meals. That's the dream, see what happens. Well, unless I am very much lost, I believe that this is Zorgetli. It's just coming up uh, 2211. So I'll have an early lunch, I reckon, and uh, maybe buy a pasty for tonight as well, save camping food. We shall see. Okay, so. They'll get like a few kilometers behind us. We achieved all of our goals. We got a coffee, a lovely bacon and sausage bath. A bit pricey, but I, I would have given, I would have paid them anything they asked. To be honest, I didn't care. Um, I've got a humongous flapjack for dinner and a Cornish pasty to go with it. Maybe in reverse order. I'll probably have the pasty first. So real food to look forward to this evening, which is lovely. Uh, looking at the map, I mean this. This track is lovely, by the way. It's the f so flat. It's wonderful. So the kilometer should tick by pretty quick doing this. Have a good pace. Um, so we should be reaching Penmine Pool pretty quickly, I think. Uh, there was an information board way back, well, a kilometer or so back, and it showed a map, and it didn't look very far, so we shall see. I make a few extra kilometers probably once we reach there, unless we find something really cool in Penmine Pool means we stop. But anyway, yes, quite busy this trail. Um, obviously it's a lovely day, loads of people on bikes, loads of people walking. It's quite nice, lots of people in a happy mood saying hello. So there we are, we shall report back later. Okay, so it is 12.30. We just passed Penmine Pool. So probably get another seven or eight kilometers in, we shall see. Okay, so 15 and a half kilometers done so far today. Um, we've passed Penmine Pool. I think I mentioned that already. We're a few kilometers on from there. Uh, it's surprising how many bits of this track just take you through random back gardens or what look like back gardens. It's quite a few where I really have to double check that I'm not just going into someone's garden. It, it is the track. It always has been so far. Uh, I had to stare down a dog in the last one. He didn't fancy a go. He was on a chain, but uh, unfortunately you had to walk past where his chain was reaching, so... Anyway, I survived. On we go. It might be a while before we find a place to camp, but we've got plenty of time. So we shall see. Again, real food to look forward to though, so that's nice. Okay. Ah, this is only a few minutes later from that last video, but... What a spot! Like wherever you look, there's a cool view somewhere. And this is 
lovely and flat and paved, well, flattish. It's the problem when you get flat or you start going downhill, it means you're gonna have to go back uphill. It sort of saps the joy from it somewhat. But hey ho, there we are. Right, oh, there's the, you can see the river down there. Oh, I was down there earlier. I think that might be the vi no. I don't know, I walked through a village earlier, can't remember its name. That might be it. Kinda hard to tell. Oh well. Either way, we're continuing on this road for a little bit. So, it's about 20 to 2. Just having a quick sit down by this nice stream. We will fill up the water bottle because um, yesterday, <laughs> towards the end of the day, I didn't find any water, so I was really running low for yesterday evening and this morning, which sucked. So now I'm going to fill up the tour is now ahead of water you. filter uh, every chance I get. I mean, might as well. Better safe than sorry, and it's a good excuse for a sit down. You are back on the tour. It's a pretty lake where private fishing permits are available. If it wasn't so early in a day, this would be a great place to camp. But you could have a cheeky swim, but uh, probably not since it's a private lake. Anyway, it looks like, we're back in the woods again, by the way. If I keep going at this pace, I might be able to get to, Do um, not Dodgetli, Barmouth by the end of the day, I'm not sure. So we shall see what happens because it would save me another night on that nasty camping bed. But, uh, we shall see. I feel like that's what I say at the end of each of these videos, but we shall see. Okay, so by a stroke of sheer luck, I have literally stumbled into a campsite. Um, pretty lovely spot for it, to be honest. I was thinking of carrying on to Barmouth. I even walked past it because I was like, nah, I'll keep going. And I checked the map and looked at how far away Barmouth was and I was like, you know what? Nah. Because <laughs> it looked like almost, if not more, than I'd done already. So I will save it for tomorrow. And in the meantime, chill out here. The lady said I can charge my phone up there. There's facilities, there's a river just over there. Happy days. So I'm just going to sit here and let my legs rest for a bit. Then at some point I'll set up my tent. So just going to charge the phone, but man. Yeah. This must be what it feels like to uh, to have been, you know, sailors back in the day. You could see from the way they walked. I feel like I'm walking differently after not having the pack on. It feels so weird. It feels like I'm lumbering around. This is lovely. I'm very pleased with this. This is all immensely pleasant. And again, there's the view. Here's the tent. All set up. Haven't shoved that in there. Won't until I go to bed. But yeah, what a pleasant evening. So here we have our feast from Dolgatli. We've got a not a Cornish pasty. It's a beef and un and vegetable, I think. And then a flapjack that's almost as big as it. I think they called it a marathon flapjack. Uh, don't know what makes it marathon other than the the chocolate on the top, but. I'm looking forward to finding out. It is just coming up to five. I've had a cup of tea. The uh, landlady let me use her home phone very kindly. Or landlady, the pe person who owns the campsite, let me use her phone so I could uh, let the people know I'm still alive. I'm sure they were terribly worried. Yeah, very nice end to the day. So hopefully we'll be into signal soon tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have a slightly better night tonight in here. We shall see. Either way, pretty good day. Made some good miles. Saw some really cool stuff. Um, I got to pet a dog as well just now. That was great. And yeah, now we've got a gorgeous campsite. And a, and a pasty, which you've been staring at for the past few minutes. So hopefully the pasty's gorgeous as well. I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, so 
update this is what you all want to know pasty pretty good not gonna lie and it traveled amazingly well I think they call it marathon because it's got peanuts in it which makes me very happy and the first bite tasted good <laughs> this is all you need to know I mean second impressions are they good mmm it was very squidgy I like it very much I'm very pleased Okay, so end of the day, about six o'clock, the tent's up, as you've seen. Um, probably heading to bed about eight or nine or whenever it gets dark. Um, just found this spot here. It's uh, a couple of uh, benches and a lovely stream there. So I might, in the morning, once I've packed the tent up, um, come here and brew up a cup of coffee and sit here and do that in the morning once I've done the tent. I am a little bit sunburned, as you might be able to see. Not too bad, considering how sunny it's been. Um, I didn't think I'd need sun cream. Guess I was wrong, but I don't think it's too bad. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Cancer. The sun is no joke, children. Okay, so I think I've figured out where I am on the book. I didn't follow the book much today. I used my app uh, just because I like to. Uh, although the instructions are excellent in this, I just like to be able to see via GPS that I'm definitely going the right way. And even with the GPS, I went the wrong way once or twice, so <laughs> it was handy. So this is section C. So it's broken up into three sections. So we did yesterday section one and a bit of section two today we've done section two and a bit of section three or section c so we are on the first page we've come all the way up through here and we've just passed not long well not long ago i mean i stopped walking a while ago but i walked past this lake and then we've come on through a very wet field it was very mucky. It's been a surprisingly mucky day, actually. Lots of mud in the forests and the other tracks. And we are just here. Ten. We are at the campsite. At the car park with the facilities. So, hooray. So, tomorrow, we've got this to do. So, shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Hopefully. This should be a shortish day, because we've knocked, well, we've done extra each day, so this is a boring video. Anyway, goodbye. Okay, so you join me inside the tent. It's, uh, one second. Oh, excellent camera work there is. It is about 25 to 8. And I just heard the people camping next to me say that they've got pizza and a flatbread in the oven. Do you think I could steal it somehow? I'm very jealous. So I had hot chocolate. I ate my pasty and stuff. I'm a happy man. Uh, I'm thinking the spot where I am, if I stay up till dark, I might get some really nice views of the uh, of the stars because I don't think there's much light pollution around. So if I remember to and I stay awake long enough, I definitely want to have a look at that and see. But I might just go to sleep. Who can say? Oh, I'm so impulsive. Good night. So, it is morning. Um, it was a very cold night. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got frost out there. Um, I still managed to keep warm. Had to um, just shuffle about in the sleeping bag every now and then, but nothing too terrible. Uh, whoever designed this air mattress should be shot. And when I return, I shall see that it is done. Uh, but besides that, uh, let's see if there's frost out there. I have a nice cup of coffee, I think. Okay, so yes, definitely frost. Does this mean I'm a hardcore camper now? I think it qualifies. I'm a hardcore camper now. I'm one of the cool kids. Right. See you in a bit. OK, 
Okay, so. First time I've had to wear the gloves. I'm very glad I bought them. Hoo -hee. We're going to set up our coffee. It's going to pop it out there in the vestibule, which is, it sounds way cooler than it actually is, just a little bit of the outside tent. Although, look, you can see the frost did end around there, so it must do so. I mean, even though, like, there's clearly a gap, it kept some heat in, so it's not quite frozen there. So, anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to set up ye camping stove. I'll have a coffee and uh, I think I'm going to wait a little bit till the sun peeks over the mountains outside and maybe defrost the tent a little before I pack it away. Uh, we shall see. I don't know. It depends on how long that takes. It might take a while. I don't want to stay around here forever. So there we go. That's the update. Huzzah! And there comes the sun. It is... Uh... Ugh, five past eight, I think. Yeah, well, thereabouts. And uh, hoping I've uh, scraped all of the frost off the outside layer of the tent, uh, but there's still some on the inside, so I'm hoping that the sun will melt that away so it drips off while I'm packing the rest of my pack up so the tent always goes down last. That's my hope, because uh, my friend who knows all about tents said that I can detach the inner layer and put it away separately, but I really can't be bothered to be honest, so I'm just going to hope it works this way. We shall see. Okay, so we're all packed up and uh, ready to go. There's the pack. We are just going to filter some water for the road and use the loo because it's the last proper loo that I might be able to have until Barmouth, I think. So. That's the plan. Had a chat with the the guys in the neighbouring tent who had been pretty loud up until midnight last night. I mean, I wasn't sleeping great anyway, but I mean, hey. So they came over and apologised, which was nice, and a chat about what I was doing, what they were doing. Which was cool. Um, now that the sun's actually out, it feels pretty warm. I don't think I'm going to need this, um, this hoodie on. So, hopefully, it'll be a very nice day. And uh, we'll see what time we get to Barmouth. I'm thinking... Maybe two? Two o'clock-ish? We'll see. Goodbye, campsite. We are back on the trail. Ready to make some miles for the last time. Final day. Should be a relatively short day since we've done all those extra miles on the first two. And we've got uh, some cool lakes to see, I believe. Let's get to it. Okay, back in the woods again. We're only about two and a half kilometers in, uh, but we just went up a very, very, very steep bit of hill, uh, and I've stopped to apply some uh, plasters to where my shoes are rubbing, uh, and a blister or two. So that should be all taken care of now. We should be good to go for the day, and uh, crack on. Here we are. Out in the wilds. A bit windy. We had a slow first hour because it was a real pain to try and find the track and the GPS thing I was following led me down the wrong bit. Which led to me uh, having to scale a wall, balance atop it for a bit with a pack on my back, walk across it and jump off. But I survived. So we are not far now from, from the lake. Is it Cregunan Lake? I can't remember. Uh, so we should be there pretty soon, which would be nice. Uh, it's windy, but it's not too chilly. Well, not yet anyway. We shall see. We are at the lake. I think it's Cregano Lake. I hope so. Well, a lovely view. Met another pair of walkers, which was nice. Not completely alone. A lovely spot. Anywho, onwards. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the finish line. It's a little ways off, but still, what a view! Nearly there, well, not nearly there, but you know, on the way. I wonder how far that is. 
chips for a late lunch, I'm hoping. We shall see, as I am fond of saying, apparently. Some uphill, but we are on top of the world and looking. I mean, there's no guarantee, but it doesn't look like there's going to be a huge amount more up. Maybe some up and down. But hey, it could be nice and easy just down there across the bridge. Oh, I can't believe we're so close. Oh, nearly done it. Get in. Meters take a slight right and what continue on path. Cool little bridge. Excuse the app there talking to me. Look at that. That's just our seventh kilometre down. It's 11.37. We're going to walk over this cool bridge and possibly fall to our death. In 20 metres, take a slight right onto path. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. I live to walk on. All right, see you later. Oh, man, that was an uphill slog. Oh, look at that view, though. Nearly there. I am very ready for those chips. Very ready indeed. Whew. Follow this way for 300 meters. Okay, so we're following this way for 300 meters. Um, we have just come down from way up there. It was a very steep descent. Pretty tiring. Slipped once. I would not like to go down there uh, if it was wet or muddy. Uh, it was pretty uh, pretty tricky as it was. Not so bad with the era. Hiking sticks can help, but if you didn't have them, it'd be a bit of a pain. Oh, took it out of me a little bit. A little bit tired, but this is very nice, isn't it? We're in another RSPB reserve, and we're really not far from Barmouth now, I don't think. It is, uh, half twelve. So we shall see in a bit how far we are. This time on Friday, we were over there somewhere. Well, I think we were on the other side. Follow this headland. way for two kilometers. Must you do this to me, app? <laughs> oh, there's Barmouth Permissive Pass. So we are not far from the bridge. <sighs> Chip soon. Okay, we are on the railway bridge. The train just went by. I waved to the driver and he waved back. Very wholesome stuff, very wholesome. We've got the views. And we're nearly there. It's windy now, I think it would be, but still not super chilly, so it's all good. Here we go. Okay, I lied before. I was excited. This is the bridge. We still got to sway with the train and the, and the man in the train, which was still the best bit of the trip, to be honest. <sighs> yeah, that's right, cyclists. You give way to me and, and all other people in foot world. <sighs> that's where we've been. 50 kilometers doesn't sound much, but man, it looks like a long way. And it feels a long way in foot world, going at foot speed. <sighs> a lovely sea breeze. It smells great. How lucky with the weather I've been. Like, I didn't pick it because of the weather, I picked the date because I was really eager to go and when I'm eager to do stuff, I tend to want to get it done quick and patient. It just happened to be three glorious days. Not too hot, nice and sunny, makes the views great, clear. Couldn't ask for better, really. And there we are. I guess we'll be in Barmouth soon. There it is. We are in Barmouth. <laughs> it's a long way across that bridge. Be careful not sticking my walking poles out into the road. Loads of people on the bridge, loads of cyclists. Everyone 
nice and friendly and happy. I could swear I can smell chips. It might be my imagination, but I swear I can. We shall see. The church where we started on Friday. And here we are at Barmouth train station. We're all done. I am tired. Uh, I ate the chips. <clears throat> you right? There were uh, a lot of people around and I was more interested in eating the chips than filming them, so that's how it went down. Now I'm going to plop down the train station and not walk for a bit. And that's the plan. And then order a pizza when I get home. Because I deserve one, even if I did just have chips. You can't stop me. Don't judge me. Uh, uh, it'd be nice to sit down. There's the pack. She has served me well. About this, I must say, it was uh, very expensive. I did wonder if I would regret it, but I must say, it's been super comfortable. It's uh, it's not rubbed me at all. It's made the load feel a lot less than it actually was, and it you know, seems to come through it all fine. Most importantly, we're here. We're done. It's all over. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna sit and drink this tin of coke and possibly snooze, I don't know you can hit the train Birmingham International, I won't have any stops and that's coming at 3 so I've got an hour and 10 minutes or so so that will be very nice and here we are back in sunny very pleasant new town back home. So, I'm just going to walk home, take off the pack, and have a shower. That would be nice. Apparently it's lasagna for dinner. I assume that's already being cooked. So, uh, might have that instead of the pizza, although if the lasagna's not been cooked, I'm still going to angle for pizza. We shall see what happens. Anyway, I guess that's this is probably the final video of the, uh, of the whole thing. It's been good. Yeah. Oh, someone's beeping. It's not me. <laughs> right then. See ya.